Hello and welcome back guys, Florian Schäfer here with a tutorial about n-1 calculations in Panda Power. What are n-1 calculations? An n-1 calculation means that if you have an, a grid like this one here and an asset fails, for example a line is outaged because of trees falling on the line or whatever, then there might be some line loading or voltage problem in this grid. This can be analyzed, of course, by taking out each line after another and then checking what happens to the voltage or the line loadings at the other lines. This can be seen here in this little example and this is what we're going to do now in the tutorial. So we start as always by importing Panda Power, the, import, the Panda Power grids or the networks. Then we import the Panda Power plotting functions. And what is also useful are the matplotlib highplot uh, C. So we analyze the Seagram medium voltage grid, which has 14 lines. We can shortly have a look at. So here you see the lines at the, the, the little window here. So we have 14 lines. And each line should be taken out one by one in the following example. Uh, for this, we have to define voltage and line loading limits we want to check for. So let's say we have here our limits of um, 0 0.05 per unit and 9, no, 0 0.95 for the voltages. And for the line loading, it's a 100%. And now we just iterate over each line here in the grid and we take a line out one by one by saying that the in-service status of a line is false. Then we do a simple power flow calculation and now we can check if that the rest bus value, so the, the, the unit value of the bus, the maximum value is greater than Vmax or uh, we do the same practically for Vmin. So we check for the minimum of the voltage limit and also for the lines. We check if the loading in percent, the maximum value is greater than max line loading here. Um, what we're gonna do is we save them to a list um, just by appending the index of the line. Don't forget to set the line in service again at the end because otherwise you have two lines which are out of service or three or four depending on the iteration. Okay, practically that's it already. So what it's been doing is in this for loop each line is taken out of service and then in the end you can print uh, the result if you want. You can also um, visualize this result easily by using the panda power plotting functions for example the, the simple plot here um, you don't want to show it immediately but you want to create first some additional line collection uh, for the critical lines here and let's say we want to color them in red and we want to say that the line width is three times the width of the normal lines and here we have to use the bus geodata of the buses because it's the secret grid and then we can simply draw the collections of each uh, of these critical lines to the axis which is returned by the simple plot function and we can show it and then you see the result in this plot here so you see which lines are critical and had some problems either with the voltage or the line loadings if you want to have um, the nice plots we had in the introduction, then you have to create your own uh, collections like this one here in each loop and then plot them. So much for that. You can also analyze, for example, the transformers if you want to take them out one by one or you change the switch configuration in the for loop and then you check what will happen to the limits as well.